Are security tokens the future of crypto? Let's take a look and see what we found. YouTube, welcome to Alcorn Picks. This video is gonna be a short segment. Maybe not necessarily news, but more likely a question. What are we expecting of security tokens? Is this the next wave that is gonna take the market to the next level? Let's take a look and see what's going on behind the scenes in terms of security tokens. So let's get started with our website for this video cryptoclarified.com and this is a news portal it's about a one pager also this one has a lot more colors i did post another one that was much smaller and only had the headlights i like this one because sometimes you're just attracted to a, a logo or a name and you can get down to business right away so that's why i like this one cryptoclarified.com let's get started about why i think security tokens are gonna be the next wave for this market so you have a business that spends 400 million dollars in an exchange most people were considering dead trust me it wasn't dead especially when somebody spends 400 million dollars circle is pretty much a group of companies and they got together to purchase poloniex goldman sachs got involved in this too this is huge this was posted on February 26th, and that was, if you guys remember, a pretty sad time in the market. Meanwhile, the big players buying exchanges out there that most people are talking about dead. Another one, T0. Overstock.com is raising, trying to raise $250 million to a exchange that is likely to be trading security tokens in the future. That is huge. Then you have an article like this talking about the top players that are going to be trading security tokens and you have Bancor and for those that don't know Bancor was able to raise 153 million dollars during their ICO and I think that's not a little bit of chunk change why would people be spending so much money in something like that you have a group like Bank to the Future that has a combined 50,000 professionals that are working and that's including Crackdown, Big Phoenix, Bitstamp, Shapeshift, all looking towards the next big thing, which is security tokens. Then you have Coinbase now helping the SEC locate the ones, the assets out there that are securities. So you, you're starting to see a small shift in, in the news about what is going on. And you have things like this, which are crypto tokens that are aimed at creating securities. And these are actually the top players, at least this, this article that is quite recent, May 5th. And they list the top players. Some of these are actually still on ICO. For those that don't know, I am quite bullish in Polymath. And BrickBlock is actually quite new and it's running on the OX protocol. I really like what they are offering. I am not being endorsed to talk about BrickBlock. Pretty nice project. You guys should look at it. They weren't able to raise anything close to what they wanted during ICO, which was 50 minutes. And I think they were pushing it. But it was quite hyped amongst Twitter followers. So this is something I really like is the space having more and more people talking about security tokens but why do i think polymath is leading the way at least in crypto in the crypto space about security tokens so if you actually go to the richest people in cryptocurrency you're gonna look at just their faces just focus on their faces right now even if you don't want to look at their names look at their photos their photos are going to be the same so check out some of their photos i don't know if you guys had a chance to memorize some of that look at their advisors i don't know if you guys are paying attention but half of those photos out there are showing the exact same time again on the polymath team of advisors they're pretty much the project is really legit and their token is so under and in my opinion so undervalued or at least so not hyped in some of these spaces you go online their token is 
it's just been listed on Bitrix and Bitrix have been so tied together in making sure that tokens listed in their exchanges are all following the SEC rules. So Polymat is hitting that exchange. That means it's a great thing for Polymat. I personally think Polymat is gonna do well. What do you guys think? Another exciting thing for Polymat is they're launching their first token that is gonna represent equity ownership for a company. The ICO token name is Coral. They're gonna be launching in April. Look how fast the market is moving, guys. This is just one reason I believe the market is shifting to security and equity tokens. Is most big players want to trade the securities and equities and not utility tokens. Sure, utility tokens are always gonna be a big player in this space. Most of regular traders or small investors will probably stick around with utility tokens. They do have their place in this market, but there is no comparison to how much value there is out there for security and equity tokens to be made in this market. And this is where I see crypto space moving into. Sure, the, the beginning of crypto space was utility tokens. This gave it a, a, a backbone enough to attract the big players. And now the, the market is starting to mature. It's not even in the beginning of it. And we're already starting to get that attention that security tokens and utility tokens and equity tokens are forming this strong ecosystem that is bringing in the big money. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is the next level up that we need to take this market up? To bring big, the, those big, the big money? Why don't you guys leave a comment down below? And if you guys want to keep updated with our broadcast, you can you guys just hit that like button and subscribe. We're quite active on Twitter and we're every day on Discord. And our Facebook page, we're pretty active there too. If you guys want to just drop any question anywhere, we'll sure to take a look and answer. All right, I'll see you guys next time.